Meantime, as we just mentioned, another day of protests against the new president-elect. Those protests stretch from coast to coast. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room tonight with new pictures just in off the satellites. Elliot. Rick and Ruta Bay, thousands have taken to the streets and cities across the country to voice outrage at the election of Donald Trump as president. Demonstrators have marched in about 40 big cities like New York and Los Angeles and smaller cities like Omaha, Nebraska and Lexington, Kentucky. Demonstrators in cities across America are protesting the election victory that shocked the world. Some of the biggest protests have been in San Francisco, as the anger many felt after Donald Trump's election victory is turning into rage. In New York, as many as 5,000 people gathered outside Trump Tower in Midtown Manhattan. He's a racist, homophobic, xenophobic nightmare, misogynist nightmare, and he doesn't represent the values that I know to be American values. While in the nation's capital, anti-Trump chants echoed through the streets of the city where Trump will be living as president. We go low, we go high. A similar outcry heard in Chicago. He is dividing us. He's dividing minorities. He is dividing women. He's dividing gays. He is dividing the very social fabric of this world. In Los Angeles, hundreds ran onto Interstate 101, temporarily shutting it down. Trump has tapped into something very deep and dark and evil in our country, and now we're all going to pay. Up to 10,000 people packed the streets of Midtown Manhattan, holding anti-Trump signs and blocking traffic. About 65 people were arrested, most for disorderly conduct. And while there were some calls for unity... I think we have a new president. We should all unify and rally around President Trump. They were drowned out by frustration and fury. Well, so far, there have been no large protests here in South Florida. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.